What's up, Broccoli Gang? Muscle Merch here with another cook, with another cooking tutorial just for you. People ask me, Muscle Merch, how do you get so big and beefy and broccoli? Why, why broccoli? Why green broccoli? The answer, broccoli beef. Broccoli beef is my favorite bulking dish to eat. It's got beef, it's got rice, it's got broccoli, it's got onions, and a little bit of seasoning. Super easy, super low budget. Let's get into it. All right, so to start off, you're gonna need about a pound of beef, some broccoli, obviously, a cup of rice, one onion, some butter, salt, and spices to your liking. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're going to get our pan going. You're gonna want half a stick of butter. Prep it to, I'd say, low. You want it too high. All right, so for the rice, we're gonna have this one cup right here. Put it in this bowl. And then we're gonna sift it a little bit. You know, run your rice through water a couple times. And then we're gonna go and put it in the bowl. Then we're gonna do two cups of water. Rice cookers have a setting. Just did white rice. And then Since that's 45 minutes, I would suggest doing this before everything else. When your rice has about 22 minutes to go, that's when I'd say you can start prepping and then cooking your, your beef and broccoli so that you don't have to wait too long for the rice afterwards. So now that our rice is cooking, let's do, let's start prepping our everything else. best idea you should probably use scissors yeah so if you want you can cut your broccoli up into smaller pieces because frankly some of these are too big in our cutting boards and our equipment after we use them. Warm water soaked sponge. There we go. So we're gonna chop up the beef. I like to use a fork just to hold as I'm cutting and we're going to cut with the striations of the beef to make it easier for ourselves. And then we're gonna go this way and that way. And then we're gonna go this way and then this way. Honestly, this, I'm gonna cut these pieces a little smaller just so that it's easier to 
cook. Make sure to always clean your knives and your cutting boards and any other utensils that have touched raw meat to reduce the risk of spreading foodborne illnesses. Make sure to clean and disinfect any non-eating surfaces that may have been in contact with your raw meat. Next we got our yellow onion. Make sure to peel the skin off and then rinse. fresh produce unless it's been packaged like the, the broccoli because the broccoli doesn't need rinsing because the packaging says that it's already been rinsed so in that case we don't need to rinse it but for this we need to rinse and then the trick that I guess works is run your knife under cold water That will reduce the irritation to your eyes. Apparently. Yeah, so we're gonna chop it up into rings. Doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, my eyes hurt now. hygiene sake, let's clean up our knife and our cutting board, get that warm water going, yeah. oh excuse me, I'm so sorry, always make sure you clean up when you're done, because that's just the way that we do it in, in this kitchen. All right, butter's melted. Put in those onions. That's a lot of onions. Put in that broccoli. Put in that beef. And you're gonna wanna stir it up so that the butter soaks into everything. You're gonna want a full stick of butter. Personally, I like to do half before, half after, just because I feel like it gives me a little more butter, you know, less evaporates during the prepping period. And real chefs season their meat before it's done cooking. And I'm also gonna give it some garlic powder. Yeah, don't be shy with the garlic powder. 
and then turmeric. Turmeric has health benefits. I like the taste of turmeric. And I'm gonna do some pepper. Because I feel like it's not gonna be enough without pepper. But all of this is totally optional. If you don't have these spices, don't worry about it. I'm doing it because I have them. Whatever you have is fine. Probably gonna need some more turmeric. All right, and then put a lid on it for about 10 to 15 minutes. And look, if you're vegan, if you're vegetarian, you know, my cousin, she she's vegan. She works at an animal sanctuary and, you know, it's, it's really cool. I respect the lifestyle. I've had vegan food and some of it's really good, like what you guys do. Some of it is just like, like I, it's commendable, I respect it. But, not for me. I like me. I respect you. Respect me. Good stuff. All right, make sure to stir occasionally, like every two to three minutes. When your beef is almost ready to go, you can just turn that dial to low, let it simmer, and then just wait for your rice, or if your rice is ready, and good for you. All right, when your rice is all done, Turn off your machine, and then, yeah, turn off the stove, and bon appetit. All right, just finished, let's try it out. That is some good stuff. Sure made the pieces of meat a lot smaller though, but really good. Really good. Hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, so honestly this came out a lot better than I expected for a YouTube video. Um, actually looks really appetizing. Normally the food I make does not look this uh, aesthetically pleasing. And yeah, I'd say this is good for about four to six servings. So definitely store this away in a plastic container, refrigerate it, eat it over the course of, you know, three, four, five, six days, you know, however, and enjoy. Thanks for watching this video. I really hope it, it does something for you. Yeah, let me know what content you want to see next. Alright, peace out.